Welcome back friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture we want to talk about uh, the English version of uh, the mnemonics and uh, the living world tricks. So this is going to be unit 1 chapter 1 from C NCRT syllabus for AIPMT NEET uh, exams. So let's start to talk about the living world tricks to remember, how you can remember the whole living world chapter with the help of small tricks and mnemonics. So let's begin with it. The first thing that I want to talk about is the taxonomic categories. There are different taxonomic categories and you need to remember that in sequence, in a proper order. So particularly if you recall this table, this is table number 1.1, organisms with the taxonomic categories for men, housefly, mango and wheat. How we can remember that? So let's begin. Uh, the very first thing is about man and this is the most important among all these four. The easy way to remember is to remember a sentence. Chor ka mama prime minister or home minister ko saap se katwaya. Although this is a Hindi uh, term, I believe you can understand that and you can answer that. Chor ka mama prime minister ko, prime minister or home minister ko saap se katwaya. So if you remember that, uh, then you can easily find out the classification scheme for human. So let's begin with this from the first part that is that is chore at the beginning chor for core data okay then a mama ma -M -A, mammalia okay then prime primate home hominids and sap s a p sapiens okay because uh, when you understand this name homo then you already know homo is a genus so the uh, species will be sapiens so homo sapiens will be the species so this is how easily you can rem remember uh, the human classification scheme based on the term chor ka mama prime minister or home minister ko saap se katwaya right so now let's move to the next type and this one is about the house fly okay so what you can remember is the english one so i think it's helpful for all of you art of india depends on music and muska this is a second sentence art of india depends on music and muska if you remember this sentence you can answer the hierarchy the taxonomy category of house fly start with the art a r t arthropoda then goes to i n of india goes for insecta then d p depends diphtheria uh, although diphtheria starts with d i p but this is a d p the sound is homophonic dip then music m u s i so mu c d and uh, musca m u s c a musca is the genus and uh, for housefly i didn't put the name of the species because it's quite easy to remember because houseflies are house flies that means they are domestic flies so their species is domestica so musca is the genus domestica is the species so the biological name is musca domestica right so art of india depends on music and musca if you remember that you can remember the taxonomic category of housefly now let's move to mango it's a plant for mango there's another sentence anji dikosa ke anna ne kar manga is dino this is another hindi sentence but i believe uh, people from south india and as well as from other places who find it difficulty understanding hindi but i think this single uh, sentence you can understand ng dikosa ke anna ne kar manga is dino so ng a n g i ng sperm then goes dikosa so diko is dicotyledon dicotyledon okay sa s a for sapindels then anna a n n a a anna is anacardisi okay and uh, C A R car, so you see Anna and car, Anna car they see. That's easy way to remember. Then mang M A N G mangifera, and I N goes for indica, which is a species name. So angiosperm, dicotyledon, sapindels, Anna car they see, as well as the mangifera, and then finally indica. So the scientific name is mangifera indica. Now the last one here is uh, the taxonomic category of wheat. And the easy way to remember again another sentence Angrezi monthly patrika. So instead of putting P A T R I K A patrika, I just paste patrika P O T R I K A, which is much much of a Bengali term. So Angrezi monthly patrika. You can probably know this. It's a monthly magazine. Okay, patrika means magazine. So Angrezi monthly patrika. So if you know that, you can easily find it out. Angrezi A N G angiosperm monthly mon monocotyledon and patrika po for pulse 
and TRI is triticum. So, you see this PO goes with the poles as well as poesi. Poles is the order and poesi is the family. Okay. And uh, TRI is for triticum and A at the end goes with astivum. So, triticum astivum is the biological name. Angrezi monthly patrika. From there, you can easily find out the taxonomic category for the wheat. And the last thing that I must say, because you know, we have checked man, housefly, mango and wheat taxonomic categories and we find out short tricks to remember that. But how can we remember the sequence that is going? Because in all these cases, we move from the division or phylum towards the biological name. So what is this sequence? There is a sequence, right? From the phylum, then class, order, family, genus, then species. So how can we move from that higher division that is phylum to the very smaller division that is a species so that is another hierarchy and that hierarchy goes from this uh, like the biggest one is the kingdom break it down phylum break it down class break class down order break order down family break family down genus break genus down species so species is the smallest and kingdom is the biggest now nowadays much more uh, bigger like there are three kingdoms are present uh, i mean this much kingdoms are merged now. There are three domains are present. Sorry, three domains, uh, and those three domains are archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. That's all now. But those domains are the biggest. But we don't count domains in here. We just simply start counting from kingdom in this classification biology. So the classification hierarchy. The easy way to remember is King Philip come over from German soil. There are so many mnemonics. To remember the biological classification scheme, there are so many short tricks to remember biological classification hierarchy. But this is one of the best that I remember that King Philip come over from German soil. So go with uh, or, or another one for Hindi people like Kitne Dino class over hone, hone ki baad film dekhne gaye nahi sab. So you can remember both. As it's an English video, we focus on King Philip come over from German soil. So start with every single first alphabet of every single word starts with. Uh, the classification hierarchy and name of the different fragments. So, so King K for kingdom, uh, Philip P for phylum, come C for class, order O for uh, over O for order, from F for family, German G for genus, and species S for uh, species, soil S for species. So, this is how you can remember King Philip come over from German soil. Domain ko, yeah, like if you want to remember domain, then you can count it like dumb. At the beginning, dumb King Philip come over from German soil. D for domain in that case. Okay, so King Philip come over from German soil or dumb King Philip come over from German soil is the easy way to remember the classification hierarchy. And this is the short tricks for biological classification. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, hit the dislike button. You can mention if you have any other better tricks to remember any of that. Uh, you can share that in the comment section so that we can make a video on that as well with you in the credits. Okay. So, thank you everyone. Bye.